already into it. That's what I'm playing as. Wow. That was just wow. Already into it. My god I was expecting this. <laughs> anyway. Hello everyone, I am the Dragon Skull and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. Yep, at last I'm finally gonna give this game a go. Um now for those of you who don't know, I actually like this game, but I've never actually played it myself, to be honest. Like, um, it, it wasn't until this remake was first released that I, first, that I started getting into this game. And, well, if you guys don't know... Oh, it's gonna show the cutscene again. I, I don't want to see it again. I, I've seen it once, once is enough, please. Uh, anyway, I'll keep talking as, um, this thing sorts itself out. But yeah, as I was saying, um, if, for uh, um... Is the game broken? Please says it, it didn't break. Come on, um, don't ruin the, that really cool opening by doing this to me. Oh, damn it. So, don't tell me something went wrong. Oh, never mind, it's back up. Alright, can I skip? There we go. Okay, that was weird. I'm just gonna jump right in then so I don't start some that cutscene again. But anyway, welcome everyone to Shadow of the Colossus. Now, this is a game that has been released a lot for quite a while. This is actually, I'm playing the remake, the PS4 remake version of the original game, though. And for those of you who somehow don't know what this what this game is, basically it's a it's a really old um game that's been released 
in the early 2000s for the PS2. That's how I first found out about it, but I never really took interest in the game because I didn't really get it at the time, because all you do is just run around killing giant monsters. Oh, for God's sake, this it's doing it again. It keeps interrupting me. Uh, I'm just going to go into the settings so it doesn't um, keep playing that home scene again. Just go into settings. There we go. Hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, as I was saying, um, this was... Um, this is a game that um, where you, you basically go around killing giant monsters, and is and um, it's been released um, in the early 2000s on the PlayStation 2, and um, people didn't really know what it was at the time. But those who did, um, it completely changed how video games were like uh, were seen as a whole throughout the entire thing. Like this was the very first cinematic video game ever released. And it was during the early days of the PlayStation. I I didn't I personally didn't know anything about it though. I mean I've heard of the game, but I I know literally nothing about it. Like I don't know the story or the characters or anything. But then I started watching Jack play this game, the the remake of the game. I watched him do a bit of it because he did mention that he did another he played the old game as well. So I watched that first. Just to see what it was like, because, well, uh, since I'm playing the remake, I want to compare it to the, um, the older version. And, um, the reason why I decided to get this game was because, um, in, um, a, a while back, um, me and my friend Michael, the same guy who made, who, um, told me to play Coffee Talk, um, we went into a CEX shop, and, uh, we were just browsing around for games, and, um, he wanted to get The Last Guardian, which is another game Jack played that's based around the, in the same universe as Shadow of the Colossus. And I, and since it was there, I, I figured I might as well get this game, and who knows, maybe it'll be a good series for the channel. Because I wasn't expecting to get into it, but I really did get into it, and I really did like it, and I, I, but I feel like I won't properly enjoy it unless I played it for myself. So here I am, recording this for you guys. Alright, now with that all the way, let's start a new game. And, uh, oh, uh, hmm. We'll go easy, because I have heard it's a very, it's a very challenging game. If it gets too easy, I'll, I'll, sw I'll switch it to normal settings. But now I can understand why, um, Jack loves this game so much. That opening cutscene was just so beautiful, and the music, it was really, really beautiful to listen to. And the temple looks really cool. It looks better than how the original one looked, and but I do know, uh, uh, the, I, I kind of know the story of the game, just so you guys know, and I know the character, like, um, that guy who I'm playing as, his name is Wander, and that's his horse, and that's his horse, Agro. I, I know about them because of, well, not only because of Jack's Let's Play, but also because of, um, I've seen videos on Show of the Colossus as well. God, the sound designs in this game are really cool as well. I'm just really excited to play this game. I was expecting to get into it at the moment I started it up, but I but here I am. This game has a um a knack for drawing you straight in. Though personally, um if you if you're only watching this game for the story, then well, you're not gonna understand it very well because this game does have a story but it's not explained well like um it's never explained <laughs> why well it is explained why he's here but there's other things that don't get explained is what I'm trying to say here we are this is the main area where the game's gonna take place I won't explain what's going on because the cutscene's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna shut up now because I want to enjoy this moment. Because that music is just <laughs> and I, and those are the statues of the of the sixteen colossi that I'm going to be um, fighting in this game. She's the reason he's here. 
I don't, that's Mona, his, um, lover, I think. It's not explained who, who she is exactly, like, everyone just assumes that they're lovers, or maybe she's his sister or something, I don't know. I like to say they're lovers, though. The animations are really cool as well. Like that cloth just now. Was you hit? How well you hit for all? He could do a be cool That place began from the Renaissance of interesting point. They are memories replaced by ends and not, and etched into stone. I use the Yula called Oloya. Olik, Olazulam. Blood young sprouts, sky. Ilzazeriku at Zoko. Amnos Kriudu. Laomism Wob. Was the Yue Dulas also. Few houses is real. Ikoral kizado yu lola. Islis wazayuku. Au mizuki kiu. Yu wala la kika. That's why we're here. This land that he's in is a forbidden land that no one's allowed to be in because it contains a dark magic secret of some kind. And he wants to use that magic to bring Mona, th that girl, back to life. Because she's been sacrificed for something, and he loves her too much to see her die. Whoa. Shadow Demon. <laughs> it's okay, Agro. They're not gonna do us harm, hopefully. And that language just now, that was, that's a fictional language, it's not, it's not a, a real life language, just so you know. I tried talking over, but I think I'm just gonna not talk when they, even if they don't talk in English. And that sword we're using, it's a magic sword. The cloth is blurring away in the wind. Is <laughs> Kyunku? It is all of you, Iweriko. It's no old amusement. A little click if the least to is. Unfortunately, it is. You are no, you too. Oh, you. Uranola. Once someone dies, they're gone forever. You are a Oh, you. I will bet. I was no, 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 no,
I can move while in the cutscene. I didn't know that I could do that. I didn't know I could move the camera while the, the cutscene's playing. Now we're into the gameplay. The, okay, now you guys pretty much should know what's going on, like why we're here and why we bring where we're doing all this. You two, I will I can move now. Right, I don't know, I don't know the controls of this game, other than this is to move and okay, X is to jump. Well, thanks game, I already figured that out before you did. Yeah, so all the these are the statues of the sixteen colossi that we have to ki to destroy throughout this entire game. That's the whole game, basically. You just travel to where the colossi are, then you fight them, then you kill them. You have to do that sixteen times, and once they're all dead, you can bring back the girl you love. Okay, X will triangle the aggro to mount. All right, aggro. All right, let's go. Make triangle to make aggro run faster. Okay, control the reins and stop with L towards you. Yeah, these forbidden lands that we're in, um, they contain the Colossi, and um, um, it is said that, that and that thing we were talking to is Doorman. Basically, th this world's the Satan or incarnation of the Satan of Satan. Okay, so this is to bring up the map. I have no idea where the first Colossi is, so I need to um. Find out where. Oh wait, I didn't mean to jump off. Right, let me climb back on. How do I bring I bring up the sword that allows me to um show? Ah, here we go. R one. Yeah, you can use the the swords on light to um tell you where the colossus is. And the first colossus is this way. Like I said, I do know the story of the game. Go on, Agro, run faster. I do know the story of this game already, and I also know the names of all the Colossi. Like the first one we're going to be fighting is called Valus. And um, as you fight them, they get harder and harder as as you go along. And must may I say that this game looks gorgeous? It is. It looks amazing. It looks way more realistic compared to the original PS2 version of it. Because back on the PS2, you had like polygons and yeah. stuff. Alright, let's get off aggro here. Still not used to, to the controls yet. Okay, R2 to, to grab onto places. And that circle there, that's getting smaller, that's my grip meter. And like, the longer I hold on to something, the more my grip loosens, and once the, the yellow circle goes out completely, I just let go. 
And that's important because, well, grip, you, you're going to have to need a lot of grip when it comes to climbing up the colossi and, um, and killing them. Okay, I just covered. How do I... Ah, circles to crouch, okay. Well, circles to roll, more like, but doesn't matter. Ugh. Look at that view. That's that's the temple we just came from. That is amazing. It looks really cool. Graphics-wise, the game really looks great. And to think that someone was able to make this in the the PS2 era. That is amazing. I'm really glad they um, decided to remake this game. And I'm glad I finally decided to give it a try myself, even though I won't properly know how the game works until I fought my first Colossus, which will be showing up right about now. Oh, here he is. Valus. Whoa! He's huge! He's like a mi giant minotaur. God, look at him. Look at that. That's what I have to fight. Switch weapons. Oh, I have a sword and a bow. Okay. Focus on the Colossus. Uh, how do I draw my bow? Uh, ah, okay. R1. Oh, I just shoot. I just hold R1 to shoot arrows, and then I um. All right, that definitely got his attention. All right, let's do this, baby. Let's fight him. God, look how menacing looking he is. He's just staring down at me. He's getting ready to fight me. Oh boy. Oh god, he's raising his club. Move, move! Whoa! Oh god! Alright, up we go. Okay. Uh, how do I use my sword? I think it's R1 still. Whoops, actually let go. This is my first time playing, so don't criticize me. And just because I... Okay. Square to raise the sword and square again to stab. Oh, shite! I have to wait till the circle is. There we go. Whoa! Okay, he's down on one leg. Okay, climb up. Oh, uh, now grab it onto his hairy ass. That's a nice ass you got. Alright, up you get. Up you get. Get onto the platform thingy on his back. This game is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Again, this is my first time playing, so I don't fully, um, understand how it works, but I'll get the hang of it eventually. Let's rest first on this little platform. It's a good thing he conveniently has a platform on his back. Alright, climb up. Easy does it. He's got like a little spine coming out of his back. Oh god, he's a shaking. Oh boy, he's shaking. Oh! Alright, easy, and... Yeah! One big stab to the head. Alright, and another! Yes! That's one Colossus down already. Oh. God. I feel so bad. You know that feeling you get when you, you're glad you, you do something, but then when you finally see the, the results of it, you're like, oh, it's over. And, well, I feel like that now, except it's with the Colossus. Oh god. But the tentacles went inside me. And not in the fun way. <laughs> okay. That was kind of hard, but not too hard, I'll have to admit. Alright. That was Colossus 1 down. We still got plenty more run to go through. And I think for this series, I'm going to do one Colossi um, per episode. Because, well, I have no idea how long it takes to um, get each Colossus. Oh, that's creepy. That's pretty much the first, the soul of the first Colossus I killed. Like, every time you kill one, their soul just watches over you as you're passed out. 
It's creepy. And every time you kill a colossus, you get you get possessed by those shadowy tentacles, and then you get and you get teleported back here again. So it saves you the trouble of going all the way back. Off to a good start, I must say. It's not over yet. That was one Colossus down. We've got 15 more to go. And there goes the first statue. With each Colossus you kill, their statue is destroyed. And once they're all destroyed, you can you can fulfill your wish and um, bring Mono back to life. Thy next foe is in the seaside cave. She moves slowly. Raise thy courage to defeat it. All right, that's Col Colossus number two now. This next one we're going to be fighting is called Quadratus. I do know the names of all the Colossus because I did do my research on them after watching Jack play the um, the original game. And I've only watched Jack play a bit of this remake I'm playing. I stopped up until the second episode he did where he fought um, Gaius and um, Barbara? Barbara? <laughs> I don't remember. It's the one with the beard. But anyway guys, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. This Let's Play series might be shorter than the usual. It's because I want to do I want to do one colossi per episode. And well, this episode's a lot longer anyway because I um <clears throat> because of that opening cutscene we just watched. This game is very slow paced, but it's that's it that's not a bad thing in, in really. It's a good thing. I'm already into this game. I'm really enjoying it. That one Colossus was probably too e easy for me to take down, but then again, I've only just started the game, and v Valus, that's the first Colossi's name, he's more, he's like a tutorial Colossi, so you can get understand how the game controls work, and I think I have it down now, so, when I climb the Colossus squares to um, raise my sword, then I have to press square again to lower my sword, and when the circle's there, I get maximum damage. But in the game, you do find, um, like, salamanders that can give you more grip strength and more, um, damage to your sword if, if you really need it. I'm gonna keep playing like this for now. If it gets too easy, the more I go on, like, with the other colossi, then maybe I'll switch to normal difficulty. Wait, can I even do that? I don't think I can. Wait. Oh wait, no, that's not. Oh, that's just controls. I don't think I can do it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, hope thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all next time. Peace.